Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Evil Dead the Game video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content here or learn anything from the video. Thanks. Just wanted to showcase this game here, it was, or two games I guess, that were really really good. I think it showcases exactly how you should play the demon role in Evil Dead the Game. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. I give a lot of tips during it, I also just ramble on and talk, so um, mostly it's going to be mostly uncut, but um, yeah, full length matches. They're not too long of matches either because I mean, I ended them pretty quickly. Again, this showcases like exactly how you should be playing the demon, specifically the necromancer demon. So if you enjoy the necromancer, here you go. Enjoy. It's necromancer time. Here we go. Uh, probably my favorite class out of all of them just because, I mean, you just spam skeletons onto people. And then when you summon the boss, his abilities summon even more skeletons. And then if they die, you can resurrect all of them. It's just, it's insane. And... One of his first skills in his skill tree to level up is just making the skeleton's base health and damage go up. So that's kind of insane. Let's go. We are those that Easy peasy. The, dark of the dagger and page spawned 300 yards from each other, so that's good. I complained yesterday on Reddit, and I think I made a YouTube short about it, but I got a game where my uh, the dagger and pages spawned 30 yards from each other. So... They completed one of them, and then it banished me 600 yards away, and they could just walk two feet, and, uh, or I guess 30 yards or whatever, and uh, complete the next objective. It was so unfair. Hopefully they fix that. But they literally spawned right next to each other in the same town, which is crazy. Um, my strats right now as a demon are to just level up traps right away, because look at this. Once you get traps 3, they spawn an elite unit on the traps. I actually haven't tested if it spawns the normal basics plus an elite or if it's just an elite per trap. I actually don't know, but it, it also just gets their fear up, 60% more fear. So um, that's really good as well, and it helps you level up even more. Um, I'm, tr tr I'm struggling to find, there we go, some traps. There we go, that takes a while. Hopefully they add an option eventually to make you just uh, press the button instead of holding it down. It's also okay if you play a little slow at the beginning. Um, as long as they're not finding the pages too fast, you can always delay them later on. But yeah, I'm trying to do everything in my power to just trap places. Alright, they already found a piece, so a little bad, but it's not our fault. I gotta go trap um, one of our objectives. Let's head over here, and we got our traps all the way upgraded. Next, I'll get basic portals and then elite portals, and then I'll probably start specking into infernal energy. Definitely want to trap all these places. There's also some really bad RNG spawn points. Oh, someone's making noise already. At flight 666. There's some really bad RNG spawn points where the dagger or pages will spawn like just out in the middle of nowhere there's no traps you can't place any traps around them so it's really bad um that's just another part that comes with the rng of this game all right let's get our uh, basic portals perfect we can start trapping or placing a couple of the proximity versions of them somebody's already terrified two people are already terrified and i think one of them is Playing as the at no no they're not never mind. Thought one of them might oh there's a page down here. We know they're coming here okay. That's really big info. This is where their next page is, and he's right he's right here he's coming up. If you check the mini map. So let's do some of those. It's okay if I'm not putting pressure on him right away. I'm just trying to set up because i know he has to get into the basement anyways all right here we go let's place a flute dude let's possess upgrade our basic portal again once big animation right here sometimes you have to time your attacks right when you know their invincible or invulnerability frames are gonna end this dude's probably dead yeah yeah he, he shouldn't go alone there we go and I feel good about unpossessing him right here. Alright, that was really good. Really good start to the match. If we can just delay them getting him up, 
then he's basically just going to bleed out right there. And they're going to have to try to revive him at an altar, or he's just going to DC. Ooh, let's put some mini ashes in here. Mini ashes will steal the weapon out of their hand, I think. I, I don't play enough Survivor to know what that feels like, but I'm pretty sure that's what the tutorial told me. I don't know if they still get the purple weapon out of that box, though. So maybe mini ashes wouldn't be a good thing to place there, but I don't really know. His bleed out timer is running out, and there we go. We just leveled up a ton. Let's get some infernal energy, let's get those. They're all here. I still have my flute in this area. Oh gosh, I did not have enough energy for this. Let's do a big slam down. Okay, that's fine. I can terrify them. Oh, we already got our boss. Try to kind of want to get a double hit here. Whatever. One is fine. All right, more traps. Perfect. I want to place another flute guy. Anywhere within the radius of hearing his music, that's where your skeletons are buffed. So if I place them way out here, you're going to hear it all the way across the house. And they're going to have to pass through all this stuff. Oh, someone activated them. What the heck? I'm going to spawn my boss right here. I'm not... And then press my 1 ability. I should have trapped that chest. He doesn't even know. He's dead here. Yeah, <laughs> he just got completely trapped. Oh, you do not want to mess with us. Come on, my skeletons are blocking me. Dude, come on. Let's grab her. Oh, I can upgrade my boss again. I don't know if it upgrades my current boss or if I spawn him back in. I still have a lot of testing to do in this game, but I feel pretty good about how good I play right now. That, I think this could be GG. Oh, he already went and got the other guy back up. I think I got revived at an altar. Yeah, these guys are all, all buffed. You can see the red on them and the red on my guy's skull. Just means we're all super buffed from the flute. No, oh, okay. See, stuff like that sometimes happens where you'll just clearly miss an attack that you should have hit. Look at our level. We, we're level 17 and we have five extra points right now. I mean, it's GG. I'm gonna raise even more skeletons. Look at these guys, they're all buffed by the flute, like you can't do anything. Demons aren't OP, they aren't at all OP right now, but these guys are just messing up. And there we go, we won. I mean, honestly it was kind of their mistake, but I don't know. They should have looted up more before coming here. But they also couldn't have known, so I don't know. That was a really good match. One kill, two kills, four kills, four kills. And that's how you play Demon. Let's go again. All right, we're hopping back into this one with the Necromancer just because, again, you can just spam skeletons. I think it's the best just for that reason alone. And also the flute player is just really, really good and versatile. You can place them anywhere. They have to go hunt it down to stop them. It's just like a huge buff to your team. Now there's nothing in the collection that lets you see like just how much the flutist or flautist or whatever his name is uh the flute skeleton how much he actually buffs your people it seems like a big buff so compared to henrietta which um you have to be like in the area of effect of and it's just very hard to use flute skeleton way way better so yeah at the beginning of the match just place as many traps as you can even if they're in spots where you really don't think people are gonna walk next to you like right now, we're we're near Flight 666. They might not come over here, but uh, you never know. One of the pages could be over here, or map fragments, I mean. I always get the names mixed up, map fragments and pages. But yeah, just place as many as you can, and then whenever you want, just go over to your dagger location, then go over to the pages and trap those up. Uh, let's just upgrade our traps again. That was really destroying them in that house when they were triggering the traps. And I did notice it was the two regular skeletons that come out plus an elite unit. So it's not just, it doesn't just replace your basic units with an elite unit. That's why leveling up traps is so good. And one flutist 
<laughs> Should I even call them flutes? One little flute skeleton can cover an entire town. I don't know how many you can have on the map at once, but honestly, I'm just gonna... Boom. I'm just gonna place one right there. If they come here, they're, they're dead. They gotta go find where that whistling's coming from and then try to stop it. But yeah, this place is pretty trapped up right now. I say I head over to the dagger. Still place things along the way, grab as many uh, orbs as you can. Sometimes you get just really bad RNG and there's just nothing around you that you can you can trap. Or sometimes there's just no orbs that you can find either. So I hope eventually they do stuff about that. We already got our traps all the way upgraded. Like right now, I'm having a hard time trying to find places to spend. This is a glitch spot by the way, you can't actually place a trap on that tree. But even just possessing a tree, look, three threat level right there. It's it's not really worth it though. I don't know if this spot over here has a lot. Oh, it does. It has plenty of traps. One trapped, trapped. I really need to level up again and get my basic units. Just getting units really quick as well is is great because you can place them down for an extra threat level. Uh. Any other places to trap? Here we go. There we go, we got it. Basic units. Let's just start placing some. I don't know if those guys are going to stay, if, if I should have placed a proximity portal or not. But, uh, whatever. We'll place a flute guy in here. Again, don't know if it deletes my other flute guy, but I will, I need, I need a friend to get this game so I can do some private matches and, uh, test these things. I guess I could just like give up on this game and hop over there, try to find my f other flu skeleton, see if he's still alive, but I don't know. Kind of wish the collection page had more info on the abilities, because there's a lot of guessing right now, especially with trap placement, like if you place too many, does it delete your other traps? Um, things like that. I know if I place another one of those, it'll delete it, or maybe I can have up to two max. That's the only thing I've really tested right now. but. I'll try to figure all that out for you guys and then get an advanced demon guide out. So far they haven't really, they haven't done anything, they haven't found a single map fragment. Um, they're probably just all just looting right now. But again they have that timer to worry at, or worry for, worry for, hello dude I can't talk when I'm uh, when I got headphones on, it's so annoying. Okay. Let's go, um, let's get our elites. Perfect. And I'm going to, oh, my flute guy died. Okay, so never mind. There's some extra testing right there. They don't last forever. I'm gonna place a elite right there. And I'm kind of sticking around this area longer than I want to. So I'm gonna go ahead over to the pages to trap that up. Ooh, almost missed the spot. And yep. Yeah, should be good. Alright, they found one. Uh infernal energy. Okay. Let's go. Just gonna place some ashes hands. Zoom zoom zoom. Let's go. Wanna make sure I have both these places fully locked down. I also don't know if those big trees. They, always, they cost the same as the little trees. I don't know if they do more damage, though. I doubt it, but maybe. Not the most exhilarating gameplay, but when you're actually playing, it's pretty fun. Because you know you're setting up for something big. But watching it, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about the about watching Demon gameplay. Like, I haven't really watched anyone play Demon yet. Hello? Can I not trap this one? little buggy right there but that's okay boom um, let's do a mini ashes to seal someone's weapon they've still only gotten one map fragment so don't really know what they're doing could surprise me though and be like super powerful right now yep there we go we already got a second one okay mini ashes trap I bet in the future some people are going to actually memorize these spots. Like, I already know on certain maps 
Like, if I was playing Survivor, I know spots I wouldn't walk into. There's, like, just some certain hallways and things that just have a ton of traps in them. So people are definitely going to try to memorize these and just look out for these kinds of areas. You can also see the traps if you didn't know. They're, like, they kind of look like the predator when he's invisible, just slightly cloaked. Alright. Oh, I don't have enough. There we go. Don't have enough. There we go. Perfect. This is a huge trap right there. And... Yep, that's good. Let's grab that, grab the boss, and try to find these guys. They're on the mini-map, actually, so perfect. We zoom, we go. I think it was just really lucky last match how I, I knew where the map fragment was, and it was lucky also in a basement, so they were going to get trapped down there. That's probably why we won the last match so quickly. From under your nose, the okay, they have all of them. The map. They seem closer to the dagger, so they're probably going to start that first. Let's go. I'm just going to place some of these so I can level up my threat. Perfect. I want to get Infernal Energy all the way up so I start gaining some over time. Right now we get one every second. I hope they start the dagger first or else I have to travel all the way back over there. Also hoping there's a demon in the future that has like a teleportation ability. That would be really sick. A demon based on like spotting survivors quickly and teleporting across the map. I'm surprised we missed some of these spots right here. What the heck? Oh, yep, they're coming. I see them. I haven't even dealt with a single one until, until this objective here. Alright, here they are. Let's go, let's place a flute right there. I'm gonna scare some of them. And spawn my boss. Boom. Let's upgrade him. Raise some skeletons. Alright, they started the objective as well. Let's get her. She's the healer. Definitely gotta take her out. Why am I not am I not doing damage to her? Hello? Oh, I wasn't seeing damage numbers. Oh, she's about to die, come on. Sprint. Chase her down. No, not the not the flute. Perfect. Upgrade my basics. Ooh, that was a nice stun. Uh-oh. No, I got it. Dang it, he's getting her up. Very annoying. Is this tunneling? I don't know. She's just such an annoying... They're gonna nerf her. Such an annoying character to deal with right now. If you play her, you just... Is, I'm sorry. You're gonna probably die a lot. Oh, I hear them reviving her. Get away from her. I want her to bleed out. I'm just gonna stay here. Alright, let's raise some skeletons. Uh-oh. Uh. Come on. No, oh, they just kept stunning me. Alright, possess so that they can't get the revive. Oh, they got it anyways. Why oh, Yeah, no, they got it. Oh, he's about to die? Dang it, if I possess that tree. Perfect, he's down. We are a very high threat level right now. Get her. Yeah, this flu guy is making us do tons of damage. And they all died. I mean... Necromancer is crazy right now. Everyone's saying Puppeteer is the most OP, but it's just the boss. The Puppeteer boss unit is OP. Um, he's kind of unstoppable, honestly. And maybe same with this guy? But if they all focused me... But then again, they couldn't because there's so many skeletons. Like, I don't know. It's a hard game to balance, but yeah, that's, I mean, that's Necromancer for you. There you go.